Hello and uh, welcome to the, the view of my game, uh, God is Bored. So before I begin, I just want to say you can download these, uh, this game as the PC version or Android iOS. Um, I am developing this for Android and iOS though, so that is the key platform. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if I want to release it on the platform, on the PC. But yeah, as you can see, let's start here with a little 3D level. So this looks uh, originally like just like some little ball rolling game um, that you'd see, you know, you tilt your phone, you know, the ball rolls around. Uh, but one thing is like if you check my mouse cursor, like if you move your finger around on the screen, it can actually rotate the camera around. Um, but also if you look up, you notice the ball actually changes, uh, the gravity actually changes. So now I'm actually floating on the ceiling and having a fun time there. I can control where I'm going on the ceiling. I can start controlling where I am on the walls, you know, floating around. So, uh, a little more creatively, let's uh, go outside our game world, um, or our initial space rather, and start planet jumping, just going up and down these little obstacles and objects. Um, you might notice some subtle physics here, uh, where the actual objects are, whenever you're on the surface, you're actually s slightly attracted to it. So, And then gravity speeds up when you leave them. So, let's see, just flying planet to planet. Pretty fun. Uh, let's just go under this guy real fast, just for some fun. Uh, let's actually let's go under our cube. All right. So yeah, it's just fun little objects. Uh, last little guy I always want to show at this level is you might see our little loop here. So one thing I wanted to mention is if you try out the PC, um, the PC version, the controls are much more precise. So this is actually much easier to do. But if you actually try it on the, the phone where you're tilting it and you're trying to touch the screen and rotate everything around, this is actually is much more a challenge. Um, I'd say in a fun way, really. But this isn't too hard on the PC because um, I can pretty much do it every time. All right. So you might also notice the buttons like the main menu and our magnifying glass and the pause. Uh, button. I mean, I can press them all and have my camera zoom out. I mean, these are for phone, Android devices, and iOS, so I can pause my game and start looking around. And I've got my main menu. Let's go back there. i got two other level types I want to quickly show off, so now I'm confined to a 2D space. Uh, so I can just roll around only in 2D if I tilt on the phone. There's our little magnet. Uh, now normally I could uh, just tap it on the phone, uh, but for the PC I gotta press Q and turn it off, it'll release again. I can press Q again, have it go again, capture me. Um, again, I can change the gravity by swiping up. So there goes my boxes and everything else and my ball uh, and me. So I can just, you know, go more like that and confine everything. Uh, now this little area, getting over to the right is a little bit of pain. Oh, pause it again. So let's just let's quickly just move these boxes out of the way. Otherwise, they'll block my passes over there. All right. So let's just fall off the level. I'll just have it reload. I should probably should have showed it in the 3D level too. But if you fall off too far out of bounds, the level eventually reloads. All right. Let's go to the last type. So here's our top-down level. Um, with this one, you're basically confined to this little island, um, and you can't look up so basically you can't change the gravity upwards this is a little more like a standard roll ball rolling ball game but it's still fun I still enjoy it um, and so basically if you fall in the water you restart the level um, I eventually plan on having this area this these series of levels being more like a, a lava flowing up and down as you can see it goes up and down the water and pass by that bridge um, so yeah it's a bunch of fun <laughs> So yeah, uh, basically this is what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Uh, uh, basically the last three weeks I've been on vacation, and I finally decided that I on Unity. And the past two weeks I've been working on this. Uh, so basically I did everything. I want to thank Unity and its community. Uh, you can look at the controls. So yeah, and then, then the so the last two weeks, I, yeah, I've been working on this. And I, I might as well show the Tesla I was working on the week before that. Uh, so let's quickly just load that guy up. Here's our title screen. You can also download this on my website too um, if you just want to mess around with this little test level. I mean, there's not too much to do, but it is cool to look at some of the stuff. You can probably hear this, some of the sound effects of the wind blowing. Or blowing. Uh, you got a dust storm or a snowstorm. 
the surface. Control up the airship. You know, just a bunch of crazy little test things. I mean, it's not like supposed to be logically makes sense that there's these blocks here. <laughs> Or a random fire here that hurts me as my ship go down. So it's actually kill myself real fast. Hey, I died. I gotta wait three seconds to reload. Alright, so ball drops again. Messing around with materials. So that guy turns on invisible and stuff. Alright. Last little thing I guess I can show off in this little this let's go to our little secret portal up here. Hey, you found a secret level. Alright. So thanks for watching. Um, I encourage everyone to download these games and play them. I will continue to be updating my website with, uh, well, currently with the God is Board game. Um, and so I hope to see you returning and checking it out. And I'm always welcome to questions and comments, so feel free to leave them. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again on my website. Bye.